Hey y'all, this is Everything Sportsman here. I've been waiting a long time for this video, actually like a week since I posted my last video and showed you what I have to, uh, what I got to try in my gun. Um, so here's the hybrid slugs, here's the Hades, there's my shooting bags, and my gun. So I kind of revamped my gun. I got one off of a guy, it was a 25 caliber, and so basically I changed, changed it over, like I kept my same 22 caliber receiver and same barrel and everything different scope that i used last time and i ended up putting it on this stock with a carbon fiber uh tank so got a little bit different setup i did tune it a lot since the last time i shot so that means that it's going to be shooting a lot more accurately i've been shooting here in the backyard and it's been shooting a lot more accurately i'll let you see the difference um, I'm filming this video with a little bit of haste because the inclement weather's coming in. It's uh, kind of misty right now and it's supposed to start raining a little bit later. So I just want to show y'all what this gun will do. I'm gnawing at the bit to get after these, these slugs, uh, these FX hybrid slugs. They're going to be great. Or at least I hope they're going to be great. Anyway, um, what I wanted to show you from the start is this. This is a brand new box. Never shot, like none of the slugs are missing out of it. And the reason why I'm showing you that is, according to all the FX reviews, they're said to be very, very comparable to a pellet. Um, and so the Hades pellets here, I have learned, are very, very accurate. And um, I was watching Ted's holdover, and he says that he don't trust shooting them out past 80 yards. I was at my dad's house after I tuned my gun again, and... Um, I was shooting 110 yards with it and it was it was performing fine but I want to know if these hybrid slugs here I want to know if they're going to perform like a pellet do I have to do any kind of tuning to my gun so as of right now I'm set at 120 bar 120 bar on that gauge I got just over 200 bar on the uh, or in the tank my power settings all the way up because it shoot it should be I need to chronograph it on my next video I might chrono it or I might do it on this video it depends on if the weather holds up but it's shooting somewhere around 900 feet per second like 850 to 900 and on the lowest setting it's somewhere around I think it was 500 feet per second or something like that I can't remember I did a long time ago with the Hades after I tuned it uh, not the video where you saw me do chrono and long or further testing on Hades or yeah on Hades All right, I switched over to my handy cam for the, these portions of the shot So I'm gonna leave it down here by the target and I'm gonna go up up top and I'm gonna record you with my Nikon camera My cool pics, but I want to show you the target that I'm shooting at It's kind of an old target But I dotted it back up with all the little dots as you can see and that's what we're gonna shoot at We're gonna be aiming at the 10 the 9 and the 8 the rings I guess we're gonna be aiming at those rings so that we can get an idea of how accurate this thing is so okay so the first few shots are gonna be with Hades um, we're just gonna get an idea of how accurate these pellets are and then we're gonna compare them to the slugs because that's what they claim is that their comparable accuracy to the slug or to the pellets we're shooting 35 yards I don't think I need to say more on that group. There's one hole at 35 yards with these Hades pellets. Now let's go ahead and stack some of these uh, FX hybrids in there and see what they do. Just so you can see that I'm not cheating the system, there's five slugs in there. There's five slugs missing. First round of hybrid going live. Okay, that was at thirty five yards. There's one hole. Well, 
it's pretty much one hole. I don't want to say it's one hole again because I messed that up last time, but it's it's pretty much one hole. Um, they they're slower um, they, and they sound different coming out of the gun. It's probably because they're heavier, so they are actually slower. So they're going to be a little they're going to sound a little different. Um, they say the BC is about the same. So honestly, what I think I'm going to have to do if I'm going to solely shoot these is um, I might have to tune my gun for these. I'm not sure I want to because I really like the Hades pellet, so I might end up just getting another liner for my other gun, depending on if, how much I like these slugs or not. Um, let's shoot out a little bit further distance and see what happens. All right, now we're going to shoot five more shots, but these are going to be the Hades, and we're going to shoot them at 45 yards. wind picked up a little bit on the shot before the last. Now I'm about to shoot the next five hybrid slugs. All right, with these hybrid slugs, I think I'm gonna have to shoot a little bit high because I think they're coming out a little bit slower. So hopefully I can hit the plate on the first shot. All right, so it looks like I had one flyer and the rest pretty much stacked up. I'm gonna go down there now and move the camera out to 50 and we're gonna do the same thing, five shot group. All right, so this is gonna be 50 yards. This is the next five Hades pellets. Oh, that's just not gonna work. Cut the front of my pellet off trying to put it in there. I'll never make for an accurate shot. All right, go on 50. Or not. Oh, I aimed at the wrong one, I aimed for 60. Doesn't help that the branch is moving. Oh, you one more. Because I shot for 60 and missed 50. All right, that's with the uh, Hades pellets. Five shot group at 50 yards. Now we're gonna shoot the hybrid slugs. Same thing, five shot group at 50 yards. Gets expensive shooting these pellets. Cost almost thirty dollars to get them shipped in my house. All right, here we go. Fifty yards. I don't know if I'm gonna hit it on the first one because it's hitting pretty far to the right. So we'll have to gauge it. Low and to the right. Well, because they're so expensive, I'm only going to do the four shots, but I think I'm going to have a lot better accuracy testing out to 70 yards because it's a stationary target. So I'm going to skip 60 and go 70. So I'm sitting here editing videos and lo and behold, this package shows up. I wasn't expecting it because I never got an email confirmation saying that it was sent. So. I'm just gonna pull it out of the box here and show you what I have. I'm excited about it. All right, the big opening. Hades 22 Diablo. Hades 25 Diablo. 
and another Hades 25. This means that I got my next video. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been wanting to get back out there with my 25 cal and see what I can get out of it and see what kind of uh, accuracy I can get out of it. But I've kind of just been focused more on more on the 22, you know, because that's it's a lot easier to get things for it. But uh, my next video is on its way. Five rounds of Hades, 70 yards. Five rounds of Hades, 70 yards. Now let's shoot five rounds of hybrid at 70. Hopefully I can hit the target because the further out it goes, the further it drops and the more I gotta compensate. So we'll see what happens. These slugs have very, very smooth chambering too. I was shooting the H&N uh, Rabbit Magnum 2s out of my slug liner and uh, they didn't like the chamber too well. They were very, very tight which led to very inaccurate slugs. All right, here's hybrid going 70. Well, that about does it, folks. Let's walk down there with this camera, and we'll go over some thoughts. All right, I'm down at my 35-yard target now. These were JSB Hades. I see one hole. Maybe it's not one bullet hole, but I see one hole. These are the hybrid slugs. I see three holes. A few went through the middle hole, and then a couple little ones on the sides. I'd say it's very comparable to the pellets at 35 yards. For this one I was aiming at the 10 ring. At this one I was aiming at the 9 ring and I hit a little bit low right. Alright, moving on to the 45. These were the Hades here. These were the hybrid slugs. Once again, they're pretty comparable. For the Hades I was aiming dead center and then a little bit of wind picked up as you can see and then for the hybrid slugs I was aiming right here at this square and I was hitting here. So obviously that's pretty comparable. So far they're not disappointing. All right, these right here, oh, these right here are the Hades pellets, the ones on the top. I was aiming all the way up here at this white dot here. It's hard, well, it's hard to see, but I was aiming all the way up here and as this target is bouncing up and down like that, I was able to pull in this group right here. And there's a four shot group, one, two, three, four. And that's because I missed it trying to hit the wrong target or something. And then we skipped the 60 and went to 70. All right, these were the Hades pellets here. And then these were the hybrids. Still pretty daggum comparable. I don't know. The only thing that I can say the difference is in the accuracy is the slugs are heavier. So they're going to it's going to be harder for the slugs to get where they're needing to go. So you're going to have to probably turn up the power of your of your gun for them. Other than that, I can't complain. I mean, I think honestly I'm going to well, I don't know. I could I just ordered a whole bunch more Hades pellets along with these hybrids. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I don't wanna tune my gun to these. You know, like the hybrid shoot so well, I don't wanna tune my gun to shoot these hybrids perfectly. So I think what I might end up doing is shooting my Hades pellets all the way up until they're gone. And then deciding from there if I wanna switch the slugs. The reason why I'm not switching is because I don't wanna turn my pressure up in my regulator because of how well the Hades are performing. I feel like this is, it's, 
it's hard to compare sort of one simple fact. All the reviews and all of FX say that you do not need a slug liner for these slugs. They call them hybrid for a reason. They're hybrid between a pellet and a slug. It shows, you know, so with what I shot them out of today was the STX pellet liner barrel. Smooth twist X pellet liner. The pellet liner shot the pellets and they shot the hybrid slugs. Almost identical. The pellets were a little bit more accurate out of it though. And that honestly, it could have just been me and the fact that my gun's not tuned for the slugs and the fact that my scope's not even sighted in for the slugs. But yeah, I think, I think if I go to slugs, these are what I'm gonna go with for the simple fact that I don't have to have the slug liner. Now, I just ordered a whole bunch of Hades. Oh, there, I slipped. I wasn't gonna tell you about it until they got here. But anyway, I ordered a whole bunch of Hades for my 25 cal. And I'm hoping that they do phenomenally well. I'm gonna do a review on them and let y'all know what I think. I'm gonna do a review on these Hades. And if I don't like them, or if I wanna change it up, because they're kind of expensive for, uh, for the Hades slugs, for the 25 cal. So I might change it up. And if I'm gonna be, ex or if I'm gonna pay a lot, might as well pay a lot for something better, you know? So I might change it up and change my 25 to go shoot hybrid slugs. Anyway, I ran them through the chronograph. The slugs are shooting 720 feet per second and the JSB Hades are shooting 920 feet per second. So with that being said, they have the accuracy, but they don't have enough energy to do much. So I did, I shot a squirrel with it. I shot the squirrel in such a way so that I can get the pellet back and I'm gonna show it to you and it was at 45 yards. All right, there's the slug. It's not really, it didn't expand. If you take a look, it didn't expand very much at all. Uh, it did expand a little bit, but it didn't mushroom to get the damage that you're looking for out of it. If you're gonna, if you're planning on shooting these slugs, you need to make sure that you turn your uh, your regulator pressure up and get that pellet or get that slug up to speed. That way, you can get the mushroom and the performance out of it. Otherwise, you're not really you're not gonna get the performance that you're looking for out of it. It's super accurate. Don't get me wrong. So they got it right when they said that it'll perform like the pellets um, because the accuracy. But with the feet per second difference, it's just not carrying enough energy to open up out at 35 yards. So that's it. Test complete. This is Everything Sportsman. I'm out.